welcome back to Bosco Campus Vision. With the previous lecture, that is uh, lecture number 18, we have completed the first module of the paper, English for the Media. And from today onwards, we'll be dealing with the second module of the paper. Okay, and the second module, it is about broadcasting media. And the first uh, couple of videos in this module will be about radios and so in today's session we'll be speaking about radios role of presenters in radio the importance of voice diction and language then introducing the guest introducing features news as well as different runners of music and the first topic is radio the radio is a mass medium that has enjoyed popularity since the 1930s. So radio aims at a mass audience and it has been popular since the 1930s. Though a medium that is only auditory in nature, it has managed since its inception to capture the imagination of people across the globe and remain competitive despite the entry of the visual and electronic media. So even though uh, the radio is uh, auditory in function, uh, it hasn't lost its relevance or importance even today. And it even runs parallel to visual and electronic media. It has held firm to its traditional role even while emerging in new avatars like internet radio and satellite radio. So with the emergence of new kinds of technology, radio was also forced to adapt to the changing condition. And so uh, we have internet radio and satellite radio, but still it upholds the traditional role that it maintains the uh, auditory function. Perhaps it is its ability to transform itself and cater to new audiences that makes it relevant in this day and age. And so perhaps it is it's this trait that keeps it popular even today. Moving on to the next topic, we have the role of presenters. The radio presenter becomes the unseen face and the heard voice of the radio station. You know that we can only listen to radio programs. We, we cannot see the one that is hosting the show. So the radio presenter is the unseen face and the heard voice of the radio station. It is his or her personality that decides the image of the radio station. So the radio uh, presenters present the programs in their own style and that style it becomes the trademark of the radio station. It is also the radio presenter who sets the style and tone of the station and presents news, views, information and even chatter in a manner that is at once engaging and entertaining. As the audience can only listen to a radio program, it is very important that uh, the programs that are broadcast, they should be uh, engaging and entertaining at once. So, the news, views and information uh, that are produced must be engaging and entertaining. He or she provides lead in to programs, conducts interviews, presents facts and news, interacts with callers during phone-ins and is generally the person that the audience associates with the station. So the radio presenters, they have diverse functions like they lead into programs, conducts interviews, a presence facts and news, etc. And often their name becomes the brand name of the station itself. Being a radio presenter demands that one does a variety of roles. So there are many uh, duties to perform for a radio presenter. It is important to have a deep understanding about the topic on hand. He must be well aware of what he is going to speak about. You have to be objective and take a bird's eye view of the news and also ask the right questions which will provide answers 
that will lead to the heart of the matter. So the radio presenters must be objective, they must be impersonal and should be keen about uh, what is going on in the society. And, should, uh, and in interviews, they should ask the right questions which will provide direct answers. Okay. A presenter is jack of all trades who is politically and socially aware, keeps abreast with current events, has knowledge of music and arts, a researcher who is concerned with feedback and audience preferences, and a team player as radio production is not a solitary endeavor. So radio presenter is a jack of all trades, is a know-it-all. He should be politically and socially aware. So he should know what is happening around and he keeps his pace with current events. And he should also have interest in music as well as arts and should be a researcher, should be a reader, one who finds about his subjects and should be concerned with feedback and audience preferences. And most importantly, he should be a team player. Because uh, for a radio program to be successful, many arenas or many factors have to come together. So he should be a team player. A radio presenter must be able to analyze information with an incisive and questioning attitude. So he must have a clear thinking as well as a questioning attitude and uh, should analyze information uh, very clearly. He should be able to draw the threads of various arguments and viewpoints together to present a summary or draw conclusions. So he should be a good listener and should be able to pull together uh, every argument that uh, has been discussed and to present a summary or give a conclusion. He should be an entertainer who can charm the audience. So uh, the audience should not feel tiring while listening to the radio station. So the entertain entertainer should be a charmer. And he should be aware that he is constantly being heard and graded. So he should be aware that he has listeners and he is constantly being heard and graded. And he should be careful about the content and the language that is used. Moving on to the next topic, the importance of voice, diction, delivery and language for a radio presenter. And the first one is the importance of voice. As we all know, a good voice is an essential asset for a radio presenter. No one wants to listen to a voice that is harsh and grates on the nerves. So it is very important that the voice of the presenter is quite sweet and pleasant. The voice has to be clear, pleasant and easy on the ears. It is a powerful tool that can persuade and influence listeners. The presenter must have a warm and inviting voice that feels credible and invites trust. So the voice of the presenter should be warm and welcoming and it should feel like uh, it is convincing. At the same time, you want to listen to a voice that is full of life and vitality. If you have a good voice, you can do much to develop the gift, but there is no real substitute for a good voice. So a good voice is of utmost importance for a radio presenter. Moving on, we have the second factor that is diction. Along with voice, diction or the way the words sound, the stress that you place on words is equally important. So along with a good voice, the way of expressing is also of importance. Diction contributes to clarity of speech and allows listener to quickly grasp what is being said. So if the stress is on the right words and if the sounding or the pronunciation are all quite right, it uh, contributes to the clarity of speech and uh, it allows the listener to quickly understand what is being said. 
it contributes to the overall impact of the text or message correct diction also allows the listener to concentrate on the important facts so with the proper usage of stress the listeners can easily understand what is important and what is not so that is also another advantage of using diction correctly the next one is the importance of delivery how a message is delivered that is its tone and the pace of delivery affects reception an interactive manner of delivery or a friendly and approach usually appeals to the audience so audience usually uh, prefers a friendly and humorous approach an interactive approach uh, rather than a brisk uh, formal approach the manner of delivery is also determined by the program or content that is being presented the delivery of news differs from the delivery of a phone in program while the delivery of news requires a brisk matter of fact approach the other that is uh, the delivery of a phone in program it calls for a warm friendly and interested manner thus delivery affects the image of a program and determines how it is received the next one is language language is an important component in presenting news and the radio presenter has to adjust his or her language to suit the audience so the radio presenter must know the audience and he should change uh, the language that is being used if needed the type of language used determines the mood and sets the tone of the program we know that language could be formal or informal according to the circumstances or according to the uh, program as per the program demands the language that you choose is determined by the kind of program that you host or deliver as a radio presenter and your target audience so the language is determined by the kind of program and also the target audience the next one is introducing guest for a radio program let's look at an example hey guys today i have something special in store for you i have a special guest in the studio with me he is a youth icon and a star He has led the Indian cricket team to victories and held India's name high. He is none other than Virat Kohli. Virat, welcome to the show. So this is the format of introducing guests to the uh, radio programs. Moving on, we have introducing news for a radio program. Here it goes. Good morning and welcome to the news at 7. This is Nalini Srivastav on to the headlines. The next one is introducing features. So a feature can take the form of an interview or talk show or a news analysis, discussion and so on. So the features can be presented in the form of an interview or talk show or a news analysis or a discussion. A radio feature on Mahatma Gandhi might begin with the narrator's voice saying something along the lines of It was the year 1869 a year that changed history the year was a prelude of things to come more significantly it saw the birth of a great man the father of our nation Mahatma Gandhi So that is how a feature is introduced then we have the introduction of different runners of music here it goes yo you people it's a it and let's kick off this evening on a high note with duck eyed peas pump it the zinger is sure to pump up your blood so here's me dj r pumping it out to you so basically while uh, presenting uh, the voice diction delivery and language should all come together and they should work as a whole so let's wind up today's session as assignment write a note on the role of presenters and the importance of voice diction delivery and language thank you and have a nice day